Hi, I'm Kai Kieran and I'm a staff writer at the Daily Targum for Inside Beat. And this is Ironheart, the My Ironheart. What's up? I'm Jason. Jake or JG, whichever you want. Nick or Rob Birchwood, <laughs> aka Rob Birchwood. Um, so we're here to talk about uh, your new release and let's uh, first start talking about uh, the new people on the album. The, um, the lineup started out with Nick, uh, Evan and I. We were the original three piece that did everything. Uh, we did the first album together. Uh, and as we were finishing up the first album, Jason and Mike came along to uh, start working on new material. And uh, Nick took a leave of absence for a little while. Uh, he most recently came back a few months ago for, for the EP. Uh, so there was a, sort of a lineup change, but not at the same time. It was pretty much our band grew, then shrank, then grew back. Uh, it was kind of like a, a, a shift, because we didn't really get any lose or get, get any new members, but like we just kind of switched around like what we were doing in the band. Like uh, I, I joined the band, I played guitar, and then uh, now I play bass, and uh, Nick. Yeah, well, I started off on guitar, and you know, I wrote like pretty much the whole first album. Now I kind of shifted into playing just keyboards and cello, actually. Evan's still on drums, Mike's still on guitar, I'm still on vocals, so we haven't changed <laughs> them in that regard. Um, and it really seems like for most of this new material for Beatitude Americana, that Mike and Jason have been more involved in the writing aspects of things, with Nick putting in his, his flavor of... Uh, cello and keys, as well as like Evan putting in his, his special flair with the drums, as well as me adding in everything lyrically and vocally. Um, it's sort of just a, a, an amalgam of everything that it started with the bass and then we put the uh, basically the extra seasonings to make the sauce perfect. Well, I mean, it definitely like, tastes good. There's a lot of like really, really great stuff on it. Thank you. Including some harmonies. Yeah, we do a lot of weird stuff now because That's we all you really want to expand um, musically because we started off as just like a, a straight up like a, a gent band trying to be like periphery with screaming kind of stuff. And now we really want to expand our horizons and uh, I feel like we take influence from like Faith No More, Protest yeah. the Hero, Frank Zappa. I always mention Frank Zappa. Um, uh, Dream Theater, yeah. Um, like old jazz music and everything. Yeah. And so it's like a wide array of a mix of almost everything coming together and producing our influences into something completely different that we haven't ever heard of ever before, which is exciting. Yeah. I, I would also say that this, um, this release is probably a lot more commercial than mm. the last stuff that we've worked on which means that people may be a little bit more receptive to it, but that's not necessarily why we do this. I mean, I'm curious about like uh, how it, what it feels like to be playing this new music, because I know there's a lot of really, really great stuff on it. Like you were talking about how uh, you were starting to play keyboard and cello now. Yeah, I mean, you know, stuff like that is the sweeteners of the songs. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just the little diddly doos on the cello, crazy like piano sweeps. It's like trying to add that like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we like a lot of flavor in our stuff. Yeah, it's like a musical melt. It's like hard for us to play. Like we don't really like to mm -hmm. like like read. Oh, we, we we hate trying to learn our own material. Yeah, it, it, really it's like it. like we'll write something out and then we'll like we'll put it off <laughs> learning it for the longest time. On the new material, what makes it more enjoyable but also harder is that there is a lot more room uh, for growth. Uh, the new material sort of. Uh, floats and does some weird stuff that I have to sort of figure out on my own. Uh, there's one that we're working on that is uh, really almost like a power pop song from the 80s. Oh, man. And it's something that I never thought I would be able to work on. And then sitting and figuring it out is actually really enjoyable, even though it's very hard figuring it out. Honestly, think about like this. You this was like a really 80s inspired kind yeah. of like, really? okay. like unintentionally. Yeah. And that's, was... that's the best part about our material, that we're doing stuff that's out of our comfort zone. Okay. And we're figuring it out and we're enjoying it along the way. Oh, uh, we're just working on the aesthetic of bringing back the 80s. Like, <laughs> I've been trying to convince him to grow a mullet for the longest time. <laughs> we, have, um, we have material that's also going to be prepared for the fall, separate release. Um, 
Uh, it's a single, and so far, it's a three-song single. Mm -hmm. The release that we're working on now, Beatitude Americana, is five songs, uh, and it's sort of like a remolot of all different kind of material that we've grown up being inspired by, and now we're sort of mixing it all together in, in a melting pot. It, the album, well, the EP is going to be called Beatitude Americana. Uh, should be released uh, probably a little bit later than slated schedule, probably, probably uh, like a month, a, a month or two from now. It'll be available online for download. I don't know how we. Yeah, probably Facebook. My Iron Cam, Heart. Uh, Facebook.com slash My Iron Heart. NJ. Ban, NJ Bandcamp. Um, it's uh, myironheart.bandcamp.com is, is our main link. And be sure to subscribe to Targum Multimedia News Channel here. And I'm Kai Kieran with the Daily Targum, signing off. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. All right, so we just need.